Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Toyota Sienna LE. Now the most notable features on the LE is its power sliding rear doors. You also have your backup camera and your heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Toyota Sienna LE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this LE model is its daytime running lights and then if we take a closer look just at your front grille here you're going to see your block heater. Now you also have the 3M paint protection film on the front of the hood which is going to help protect against rock chips just when you're driving down the road. You also have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels and then you have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors and then taking a look on the windows there you have the window visor guards and then just to give you a quick idea of what your second row is going to look like I'm just going to close in on it for you you have second row captain seats and then taking a look at the windows there you also have the window visor your uh, um, shades in the back there and in your third row so the nice thing with that is you can block out some of the sun just so you can have a quick nap just on one of those long trips out to the grandparents now just on the inside of the door here you're going to find the close button and parents if you're worried about your kids accidentally getting their hand or their arm jammed into the door the nice thing with the uh, power sliding doors is it has the jam protection so in the event that the door does sense there's an obstruction in the way then it will open itself back up again and then just close them again all you have to do is just pull on the handle once and it will close automatically for you you have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is red now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your light gray cloth interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls with your traction control on and off and then you also have some storage space for some coin. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, mode select, scroll function, Bluetooth, voice recognition, and your cruise control setting. Now I'm just going to close in on the odometer reading just so you have a much better idea of what it's currently sitting at. And if we take a look just at your center dash as well as your AM, FM, CD player, you're going to see a couple of different options. At the very top here you're going to see your digital clock as well as your exterior temperature gauge. You'll also find your temperature control settings as well as your average fuel economy located uh, there as well and then if you wanted you can actually flip through the info at the very top there just by hitting your info button and then taking a look at your distance to empty as well as a couple of other additional features now as you can see you have your hazard lights just over on your left hand side with your AM FM CD player and then if you hit the radio button here you're also going to find your XM satellite radio as well and then taking a look here, you have your dual zone climate control settings along with your rear temperature controls just located down below here as well, matted to a automatic transmission. And taking a look here, you'll also see your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, your power outlet as well as your USB and auxiliary with an additional power outlet. Now at the very top, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And at the very top, you'll see your open and close as well as uh, your open and close for your power sliding rear doors left and right and then taking a look here you'll find a sunglass case holder with an additional mirror on the inside here just so you can keep an eye on the kids just when you're driving now your backup camera is just going to show up in that uh, top uh, display there just so you have a much better view of what's behind you Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left-hand side. Rear hatch will be located just underneath your Sienna and Toyota emblem, respectively. And I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing is if you look over on your right-hand side, you're going to see that power outlet. And the other great thing is you do have the 60-40 split third row. So in the event that you do need the additional space, all you have to do to fold the seats uh, down, push on this, it'll fold the headrest down, and if you pull on the middle piece here that's just located on the back of the seat here, fold it into the floor, pull the flap up, and make sure it's nice and flat just so it keeps everything level for you. Then you have some additional space for you, so depending on what your needs are for, you can have the 60 side down or the 40 side down or both of them down just in case you do need the additional space. 
Now, if you do forget how the seats actually fold up or fold down, the instructions are just located on the back of the seat here. But you just want to make sure that you pull up the flap first, then pull on the middle piece here first. Make sure it locks itself into place, and then pull on the strap on the far left-hand side there, and headrest up. And as you can see, you have plenty of storage space just located down below, as well as on your left-hand side as well. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2014 Toyota Sienna LE all-wheel drive, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.